Catalina de Indies, the symbol of Spanish colonial Cartagena. She has become something of tragic heroine in the history of Colombia, but few outside of Cartagena know the story behind this iconic woman. Her real name is lost to history, but India Catalina, as she was called after being Catholicized by Spanish conquistadors, stands out, much like Pocahontas or Sacagawea in North America, as both a proud symbol of native culture and a sad reminder of European colonialism. Her brush with history started in 1509, when Diego de Nicuesa launched an attack on coastal Colombia. The young girl, who would become an icon, was taken hostage from the Calamari people by Nicuesa himself, and transported from her home in Galera Zampa, modern day Santa Catalina, to Santa Domingo, where she lived a slave, consort, and eventually a veritable Spanish lady for 20 years. But her Spanish captures had bigger plans for her than the life of a serving girl. It was around this time that she came in contact with Pedro de Heredia, the man who would become the founder of Cartagena and eventually her father-in-law. She sailed with Pedro de Heredia when he made his foray into the countryside that would eventually become Cartagena. Over time, India Catalina's legend grew, and she became a sort of folk hero, representing the native people in the region. India Catalina has been idolized for centuries, and in 1974, a larger-than-life statue was commissioned from Eladio del Zamprano, who was praised for creating a look that captures both innocence and sadness. The statue depicts India Catalina bare-breasted, wearing a traditional native headdress as she stares off into the sky. If you're vacationing in Cartagena, you will definitely see her image almost everywhere. the first Spanish arrived here they thought the indigenous people buried their dead with gold so they came here in search of gold you know obviously that was not the case but because of the amount of people that came here this area Cartagena became a major port for the Spanish Empire um, and then with it um, you know um, comes a lot of technology from Spain and from Europe here which made it a target for all the um, uh, pirates um, so this city has been attacked numerous times by pirates and uh, because of that the um, Spanish crown decided to build this huge wall to protect the city but this wall took a long time to build and during all this time this city has been attacked many 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 times by pirates uh, um, most famously is the pirates from England, the British pilots, who came here, um, attacked the city, captured the city a couple times, um, which uh, forced the, uh, uh, the Spanish crown to expedite the building of the wall, obviously by using a lot of slaves. It's thought to be a lot of um, uh, ghosts around this area because of the amount of people that died building this wall. Um, um, which is sad. Oh. And in here, for example, I learned something from, from uh, one person a 
long time ago is where when you touch anything that you're visiting you close your eyes and imagine how is it how how it was built and why the blood the tears the sweat the pain the suffering that took to build such a thing <laughs>